Okay, I'm going to show you how to construct a congruent triangle using side, side, side postulate. The first step is I just want to draw a uh, straight line on my blank area of paper. And I want to make sure that it's longer than my sides. So I'm just going to draw out a big straight line right here. Okay. The second step is I want to measure out my side. Uh, I can pick any one to be the first. I'm going to use AB because alphabetically that comes first. I measure it out with a compass, making sure it's the exact same size, like this is right here. I put the pointy end of the compass at one end of my straight line and make an arc with the other end. Okay. From this point right here that I started to this point on the line is exactly the same distance as AB. So I'm going to make this A with an apostrophe, B with an apostrophe. Those are my new sides, okay? Now I have to measure out side BC with the compass. Same thing, make sure it's the exact same size, which that is. I go from the point where I made the new B and make an arc. This arc I want to make a little bit larger because I'm going to have to connect another side with it, and I'm not sure exactly where that's going to be. So I'm going to make it a little bit larger. Now I measure outside AC with the compass, make sure it's the exact same size, which that is. I go from point A apostrophe and make an arc, make it cross my other arc. So I have a new point right here, and that's going to be the new C, C apostrophe. And then I just connect my points. So I connect my new A to my new C. And I connect my new C to my new B. Okay? And these triangles are exactly the same by the side, side, side postulate. So I'm going to indicate that with the lines side AB and side A1, B1, side BC, side B apostrophe, C apostrophe, side AC and A apostrophe, C apostrophe, okay? And that indicates which sides are the same. This has two on it, just couldn't quite tell, okay? And that's it, that's all I have to do.